Hi guys. I am back. I am here on a request to talk about my stats. And because I'm hungry right now, I'm gonna eat too. We have food. Oh my god. I'm legit sitting on the floor just eating. This is some good stuff. So I'm here on request because a lot of people have been commenting and I've gotten some DMs, which really surprises me. I'm, I've never really gotten a lot of DMs before, but I've actually gotten like a, quite a few of them. People wanted to know how to apply to Yonsei, what kind of stats that I have applying to Yonsei. For this video, I am gonna talk about my stats. And I don't know why you asked for my stats because they're not really good. When I said I was above average, here's the average bar. I am like, look at the spoon. I'm like right there. I'm like a little above average right there. I've never really watched stat videos. So this is kind of, kind of new for me. But I could tell you like things that I've done over the past four years in high school that might help. I have a 3.9 cumulative GPA. Starting from the beginning of high school year, I'd say um, I had a good start. I did a summer class at my high school before I actually started high school. So like when you were in eighth grade, you could sign up for summer courses at my high school. So I did that too. So then I have extra credit on my transcript now. I joined Key Club. I did broadcasting. You know how you're starting a new school and then you're still trying to adjust? It takes me a whole year to adjust. And then I had an AP class in freshman year too. Oh, I should be talking about my GPA. Freshman year, I think it was like a 3.7 because the AP class brought me down a bit. I never really had a 4.0 in freshman year. Oh! Man, my memory is really bad. Freshman year, I did two clubs. I did key club and then I did a club called Operation Smile, which helped kids in third world countries. So that was, that was neat. The summer between freshman year and sophomore year, I actually attended college. It wasn't actually college, it was actually a pre-college program, but it was still college because if I enrolled into the school I went to for that class, then I would have gotten credit for it. I attended the Academy of Art University because I wanted to take one of their film classes because back then I really thought I would become a film student. And then I took a film class. It was a very interesting class. I went to San Francisco for two days a week. I met a lot of people. I'm very grateful for the experience that I had in that class. Yeah, I learned a lot. And then let's go to sophomore year. I was still part of Key Club, but I think I earned more hours that year. Still did broadcasting. And with broadcasting, I go to school at 7 o'clock in the morning, every single morning. So the past four years, I have went to school at 7 in the morning. I don't think I did much in sophomore year. I didn't even have any APs because freshman year kind of traumatized me. I started getting 4.0s, but still on the rocks. Cumulative GPA didn't really change or like move up that much. Yep, that was really good. Sophomore year was kind of chill. And then the summer of sophomore year, the summer between sophomore and junior year, I think that was the year I started college, like officially, officially. Like I went to two different community colleges at the time. I went to one nearby. I did an online class like with a community college in Central California. So technically you could say I went to two community colleges. And then during the summer, I did an internship program me and my partner, we had to go and film a whole internship like program. It was a government, it was like a government related program where they help high schoolers to get a head start in the work field. So that our job was to promote that program, but we are still enrolled into the program. So technically I did the program. On to junior year. Junior year was like, action-packed year. I think I did more junior year stuff than senior year stuff, but I can't really say anything about senior year because we're in quarantine right now. I did take two APs. Junior year, I did a lot in Key Club. I was an officer in Key Club 
and I think it was Key Club. Key Club like set the adrenaline for me. I had like hecka hours in Key Club. I had like nearly 200 hours in Key Club. Still maintain some good grades. 4.0s, not really. <sighs> I think I got some 4.0s. And then I brought my GPA up. And then the summer between junior year and senior year, I took two college classes at my nearby community college. And I was on site for that. So I went to school every single day because I could drive during the time. School never really changed because I went to school from eight and then I got out at like three because I had one class in the morning and then stayed an hour for lunch and then my next class happened. And then the college credits are separate. I have like a couple different transcripts on file. Fast forward to senior year. I took a film class at night. So I went to school at night for like two days a week. After school, I would, I would eat, take a light nap, then I'd go to school again. And then I'd come back home and then do all my homework. Man, that was really hard during powder puff time too, because I did powder puff for all four years. Like women's flag football, but like to the extremes. I didn't really do any sports. Like I did track and field back in seventh grade. I still have a scar. I was running the hurdles. I tripped on the last hurdle and our track at, in middle school was a dirt track. And now I still have a scar from falling over a hurdle. Am I even doing this right? did broadcasting and then other than broadcasting I got the chance to do to help out at graduations so three days of the final year where graduation happens because there's nine schools in my district so it's three graduations per day so I had to skip school for the last three days of school to go help out at graduation I did that junior year and then I did it sophomore year I didn't really do much in senior year I did have one AP class I did get like 4.25s in junior and senior year and then my GPA went up to like 3.9. I think currently it's at a 3.95. My AP scores are very bad. Let me tell you now. I think I'm just a really bad test taker, but every AP test I've taken, I have failed. And I'm still mind boggled by that, but I swear I do study. But no, like I think I just really suck at tests. The SAT, I took it in junior year. I took it once because I'd said I'd take it another time, but then I just didn't do it. I got a 1250 on it. It's pretty average. My SAT essay scores, it was a uh, it was a 656. I wanted a 666 because I heard it's like a stable enough score, but um, I am proud of my 656. And then senior year, like it was a chill year. All I was doing was signing up for colleges. I have around 500 hours of community service. I don't do that many clubs. I'm really just dedicated to Key Club. I do broadcasting. I've did broadcasting for all four years in my high school life. Man, all this talking made me hungry again. I think that's it. My nationwide scores that, um, I still don't know what that test is called. The CSAP or something. But my scores, it's a range out of four and it's for both English and math. Both were fours. I was above average and hurrah. I guess you could add in the fact that I do a lot of online classes. I take a lot of college classes. I have a lot of college credit and I have lots of certifications, which is on my LinkedIn profile. And oh, I did another internship. Okay, so after the government job internship, I got another one during the school year with my two friends. And yeah, freshman year, didn't really do much. Sophomore year, started doing more. Junior year did the most, and then senior year, it's kind of a descending arc. I think I should tell you my ranking. I think it was a rank out of around 600 kids, and I was like rank 150 something, and I had a 3.9. So think about how many smart kids are in my class batch. Wow, whew. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have questions, let me know. I didn't even finish my food. But, oh well. Goodbye! Bam!